guys, this is um episode four of Lot of Fresh to Funnier. I got Josh with me. Hello, peoples. So far, we're doing good. I played the back to school episode. It was pretty easy. Now I'm gonna be now after our episode, I'm gonna save it as my favorites because I already done that. Just to let you know. Hey there, I'm Sandy. Got some questions for you. First off, how many people are playing the game? We're playing solo, huh? Alright then, let's have a name. Alright, first things like first, pick which episode you want to play. And hit F to have a look at your favorites list. Let's try... Let's try Junk Mail. 30 seconds. You'll use the B key for your buzzer. That's B as in big old beer belly. 20 seconds. All right, listen up. Take notes. As soon as you think you know the answer to a question, buzz in. Then you have to hit the number that corresponds to the answer you want. Got that? All right, now get out of here. Let's get this dirty. may already be a winner, but you're definitely already a loser. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Yeah, alright, welcome to our junk mail episode. Dedicated to all that bulk rate mail you get every day, huh? Although, since I've been working out, I like to think of myself as a bulk rate mail. You know what I'm talking about, huh? Yeah, baby. Yeah! one or current illegal alien get this one right you get a grand see now most of the junk mail i get is addressed to the residents at i'm sorry but who are these the residents now, at people and why haven't they had their mail forwarded assuming Mark they are neither too. u.s veterans nor married to u.s citizens how long must the residents at be residents of the united states before they become eligible uh, for citizenship let's say five one year, years three. to be eligible for u.s citizenship a legal immigrant must have resided in the u.s for five years Got it. That's to make sure they've grown comfortable with American customs, like securing seven or eight credit cards with a low introductory APR. Person is close, do not bend. Columbia House of Good Repute, or when mailman cried. Question alert. Question alert. The category is when mailmen cry. You get it right, you get 2K. One question coming right up. Which of the following has never been sent through the U.S. mail system? A little girl, the Hope Diamond, an entire building, or a live whale? In 1916, an entire building was dismantled and mailed one ton at a time from Utah to California. Should have picked this one. As far as anyone knows, no one has ever sent a whale through the U.S. postal system. Not that they haven't tried, oh, though. That was it's just tricky. that the stamp won't stay on over the blowhole. That was tricky. All so right, that's the category. Link plus mail, Mad Dogs and Mailman, or I found for cheap stamp. There goes the butterfly that began. The category? Mad Dogs and Mailman. Three. $3,000 for this it's one. Okay, if you've ever heard the phrase snail mail, you'll get a kick out of this one. Suppose instead of a mailman, you had a snail man dropping off your letters. Considering the properties of snails, which of the following would probably be true? He'd never forget his route. He could jump up to reach your mailbox. He'd always wear blue, or he could carry 700 times his weight in mail. Snails secrete a mucus-like substance when they travel, and it leaves this very easy-to-see trail behind them. So your snail man would always have a little mucus map to follow. That was easy. I guess so. Of course, the How real problem with snail men question. is that the pigeons keep eating them. This should be a grand. Throw me a category. Every guy can see my average one. You have to catch them. You can find them for 
Coming at you. You have the right for them to remain silent. How does $2,000 sound? And now, your question. Given the time of night, the telemark becomes illegal in the United States, when should you stop screening when, your calls? 6 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., or 11 p.m.? I like the more nothing. It's illegal for telemarketers to bother you before 8 a.m. and after 9 p.m. Got it. I double my money. Nine. Of course, I'll still have to screen my calls since no legal calling constraints have yet been placed on my uncle Stewie. The paperwork's taking a little longer than we expected. I'm just having lucky guesses. This Category, is a please. and a way that act. Clean up your kitchen. All right, flesh butt spits uh -oh. on four. Take a look at this gibberish category. That dick. What do you say to 5,000 no. bucks to start this gibberish question off? Now, as soon as you know the answer, you buzz in and start typing, because I'm going to take away some of that cash every second and a half. Okay, tell me what well-known postal phrase this rhymes with. His mess, we sigh. Well, and don't let that screwy punctuation phase you. First clue, it's written on postcards. I got bit in Florida. Okay, it's written on postcards that fall out of magazines. Last clue, reply to a business in the mail? Sure. Nope. Every time I'm sitting on the toilet reading my subscription to Tiger Beat, I get that little card that falls out and nearly slices my thigh open with a paper cut. You know the one that says, His mess we sigh well? Business reply mail. Dear Tiger Beat, yes, yes, a thousand times, yes, I will renew my subscription to you. But, my darling Tiger Beat, you must never ask me anything, and you must never go through my stacks of teen people. Thank you for paying my postage. Oh, Love, I see. Schmitty. Those bold letters. Thank you. Time mail to pick a category. Christian, because couples care or native mailbox doesn't match the rest of the house. Can, can Schmitty pick one? I don't know. What, do I have to do everything around here? I believe this one is called Because Coupons Care. You get this one, you pocket 2,000 bucks. Okay, have you seen these coupons they send around now where they've got a picture of somebody who's missing asking, have you seen me? And then on the other side, there's this tasteful coupon. Well, given famous people who have disappeared and have yet to be found... I'm sorry, children, please don't feed the loser. Wait, what? Here's the one you didn't pick. Howard Hughes may have been a freakish recluse, but he was never missing. Which kind of sucks, because oh. I could have used that pizza coupon. I didn't mean the question. All right, the category. And you don't feel the gush loops for dead letter office worker. And our special guest tonight, Junk Mail Discussion Groups. I'm going to make this one a thousand bucks. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Suppose the Book of the Month Club actually sends you a copy of the book, Junk Mail. Who is that month's featured author? Martin Amos, Nick Hornby, William uh, Burroughs, or Will Sell? Uh, does this ring a bell? I would have been wrong. English author Will Self's got a book too. called Junk Mail. Yeah, junk mail literature. Pretty much the same thing. And you know what I'm saying? And a ground <laughs> Books are dumb. Play more Precisely. computer games. More computer games. Time for round two. All the questions are worth double. Let's get back to it. All right, in category. First <laughs> Let's have a big warm welcome for It's Like Dating a Rock. I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. You know, I don't know why I keep getting mail from those dating services. <laughs> like I need help. 
If one of those dating services were a radiometric age dating service, what would be the best phrase to print on the envelope? Ladies, start looking for rings. We'll spot her for you. Get a half-life. Or we've got your atomic number. Tough. Here's the one the winners pick. <laughs> Radiometric age dating uses known half-lives of radioactive substances to determine the age of materials. Actually, I did go oh. on a date with a woman through that service once, but she was way too old for me. Like by a billion years. I think her name was Amber. Or maybe that's what she was preserved in. I don't know. So that's the category. The Here we have, I found her G-stamp. You uh -oh. want 6,000 bucks? Give me your right answer. Okay, wake up. Got a different type of question here for you. For this next one, you're going to have to choose the answer that best completes the sequence. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little hint. Postage. You got Postage. it? All right, lick this. Well, 18, 22, 25, blank, 18, 32, 33. 22, Come on. 25. What goes in the blank? 27, 29, 30, or 35? Postage. The correct answer is, way back in 1995, the cost of mailing a letter in the U.S. went up from 29 to 32 cents. Although, uh, I've been known to toss my mail person a couple extra pennies just to be sure that my mail makes it to the right address. Hey, when it comes to so postage, I don't mess around. Time then to pick a category. Wrote, yeah, mailing this tramps or one man's junk is another man's <laughs> Hey, not bad. bad you chose a when did happen. All right, I'm going to show you an event. Oh, oh, okay, you already know how to play. That's fine. This when did happen is called mailing list tramps. Okay, now everybody knows that junk email is called spam, right? Which just gives a bad name to spam, the tasty meat treat. Which brings me to 1937, the magical year that heaven came to earth when this event happened. Hormel introduces spam to the world. Jeez so tell me, was this wonderful magical product introduced before spam, after spam, or has it never graced our world at all? some crotchless panties from Fredericks of Hollywood. It was a gift, all right? Have you no decency? Say your junk mail increases exponentially. If on day one you get two pieces and on day two you get four, how many pieces of junk mail will you get on day six? 10, 24, 32, or 64? Give me the keys. 24. Ah, oh, you 
should have sent away for this answer. What? If your mail grows exponentially from 2 to 4 in a day, by day 6, you'll have 2 to the 6th, or 64. And once and for all, I don't need that many catalogs for crotchless panties. It was a gift. But I'll tell you, I've never felt that kind of freedom. Suggest me a category. Can you dead left office worker or person and close? Not dead. May I introduce Dead Letter Office Worker? You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. See if you can wrap your skull around this. Considering he killed a man over some mail, which of the following characters' houses might mail carriers try to avoid on their route? Biff Tannen from Back to the Future, Griffin Mill from The Player, Radio Raheem from Do the Right Thing, or Jack Walsh from Midnight Run? Although mail carriers are great at taking their time, they really make no effort to travel back in time. Uh oh. Let me show you what I would have picked. In the film The Player, cold-hearted studio one exec Griffin Mill kills a guy he thinks is sending him hate mail. Apparently the letter began with, G. Mill, you have not already won $10 million. Columbia House of Repute was absolutely blamed for lost mail. Well, I've subscribed to every magazine, and I haven't seen one. All right, give it up for... So that's who we blame for lost mail. You get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. Okay, suppose you had the chance to talk to the first postmaster general about the fact that he didn't do anything to prevent junk mail. Considering another claim to fame of the first Postmaster General of the United States, what might you say to him? Go cry in your beer, eat my shorts, go He's fly not a kite, or bite me, Mr. Wooden Teeth. <laughs> Got a minute? Take a look at this. <laughs> He's famous for flying a kite to study electricity, and Benjamin Franklin was oh. also our first postmaster general. He also invented bifocals, a stove, and fathered like a gazillion kids. Just shows you what a guy can do with some extra time on his hands. Give me a category. This category is known as, well, the mauve mailbox doesn't match the rest of the house. 4K coming your way for a right answer. Okay, so you know sometimes when organizations want donations, they'll send you those sticky little address labels? Well, suppose Bill Clinton keeps using those sticky address labels that he received while living in the White House. Where will his mail be returned? 20 Arkansas Avenue, 1300 Connecticut Avenue, 1400 Wisconsin Avenue, or 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. since I was a young boy, but unless they moved it, the White House address is 1600 yes. Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> of course, Bill's going to be right back in hot water warm, when they find out he's been white. using those Amnesty International labels without sending them any money. Oh, well, someone's been attacked before. Let's see how much you've learned. Here's your clue. Or current resident. Oh, that reminds me. I have to order more of those return address labels. See ya. Buckingham Palace. I guess you gotta name the ruler.
Episode is a keeper, just hit F and mark it as a favorite. If you're ready for got it. And evil, which takes no prisoners. And evil, which All has right, then, no see you guys evil. later. So